Welcome back guys. So now we are going to let's create some spawn positions. So what, the way we're going to do this is we are going to create some parts in our workspace and then we're just going to set set the position or the C frame of our player to one of the one of the parts that we create. So it, that probably made no sense. So let's just dive into it and you'll see what I'm talking about. So what we're going to do is, well, first, how many players do you want in your game? Think about that first. Whatever it is, go to go to file game settings and go to places right now. Six is the max. Let's bump it up a little bit to be eight. We'll, we'll do a four on four game. Uh, so yeah, we got four on four. So we're going to need four reset positions for each team. So let's do this. Let's go to workspace. Let's create a folder. We'll call this reset positions or reset positions. Let's create another folder inside of it. We'll call this red. Inside of it, we will add a part. Where do you want your guys to, to uh, spawn or reset? Just think about that. So this is, we're doing the red team. So we'll put the red team on this side and it'll be going that way. So let's get this part and we will move it let's put the first guy pretty close to it on the circle pretty centered just change the color so we can see it better get a top view all right and then we will not rename it yet um let's put the second dude we'll put the fourth guy here and three four okay yeah we'll just put them straight to the sides like this and we'll duplicate it and then we'll put one guy back here we'll put them in the middle of this, of this half circle all right i'm gonna rename these to one two three four we are going to duplicate this since it's gonna be the blue folder we got one two three four let's select all these and let's make them blue now let's rotate them let's go to model and make sure that rotate 180 works because that's exactly what we're going to be rotating by boom and then we move them back All right, so we've got our reset positions now. Now what we need to do is uh, actually write the script to make this all work. So we've got our re reset positions. We'll leave them visible for right now. But let's just, let's end the video there. Let's keep these videos nice and short. We'll end it there and we'll, we'll tackle the programming in the next video. So I'll see you guys in the next one.